You guys, I just found out that Jake has a thousand dollar ball mount set up on the back of his truck. Did you spend a thousand dollars on this? I'm gonna show it to you and I'm gonna ask Jake why he did it. All right, let's check it out. I caught him off guard. He was in the middle of doing something, but he's coming down to tell you about his truck setup. All right, Jake. Yeah, so I've had I've had all kinds of different ball mounts. I used to have a BMW drop ball mount, which is it has the tri ball on it. But I just found that I never really needed the uh, the smallest ball, so I just have a two and five sixteenths and a two, which is all the trailers I tow. Um, but these these traction bars, which is probably what's most surprising about this hitch setup, they're essentially really big anti rattle devices. Um, they're they're about four feet long and they bolt to your frame and it takes all the shake out of your hips. There is still a little bit of shake here, but it takes every last little bit of shake out of the ball mount in the hitch. So um, when I'm towing something heavy like a skid loader or anything like that, if you know what that feels like, um, it's really scary having a ball mount jerk back up and down and back and forth whenever you hit a bump uh, with, your, with a skid loader on your um, ball mount or whatever, anything heavy. Um, this kit I highly recommend. You can get a standard ball mount, but um, this kit's also rated for 22,000 pounds, so that's way over yeah. what the truck is rated for, but um, I know with this setup, I'm more than safe on my weight capacity, and I've also got those bars to keep everything nice and straight. All right. Well, people, did he convince you? Is it worth it? That sounds awesome. So, thanks, Jake. Yep. Glad I tracked you down. Yep. See you guys.